Bilko and uh, welcome to Bilko and Brenny's podcast. I'm Bilko. I'm Brenny. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, sporting our new clobber tonight. Some of us look better than others in the actual detail. I know. But, but we'll get there, we'll get well, there, we'll, we'll get there. I'm getting there. So uh, looking forward to this tonight. It's Polly's uh, Bruco. Uh, I'm just going to crack right into it, isn't it, big man? Aye, we are indeed. The first beer of the night is uh, a dry hopped Berliner Weiss, which is named Slow Bum. Um, and it is 4% in volume. And I'm usually expecting pretty fresh, modern, and vibrant a beer tasting. And Slow Bum's kind of apt in it with the weather. It's been roasting. Well, you know I've been away, away all week. Mm-hmm. You know I've been away all week, so I, I kind of picked a better week to get away <laughs> in Scotland. Um, I'd four, four nights, five days of absolute bliss weather in Downsine Estate, which was fantastic, mate. Fantastic. I've been well, working all that. I've been working all that. Uh, well, mate. well, you've been working for him for the last however long, I don't know. I was in the office, mate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that must have been hard work for you. That must have been hard work for you. So. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. So that's exactly what I expect a little bit of to taste like an initial pour. An uh, initial taste is vibrant in the mouth. Aye, I really, I mean, as usual, I really like these cigars, man. You like everything, man. We're basically an advert for drinking. Aye, we are, I mean, man. We're, 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 we're really, we're really, we're really, uh, we're no easy, we're, we're no, no hard to please, Bilko. Um, so it's not as fruity, is it? As some of the other cigars we've tried. I wouldn't say that's a cigar, but it's a Berliner Weiss, which is a, a style of beer, which is, a, a, I think, and this is, again, just for my... From a talking to his friends who brew mm-hmm. and stuff, it's like a cross almost between like a wee beer and like a pilsner, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. with a bit of the fruitiness and added in. It's been like a session, it's a session beer. Uh, low, low, low ABV, 4%, but you're certainly getting a, an element of fruitiness in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but an issue, an initial, that's. I'm looking at it here, it's dry hot with 15 kilograms of Comet and you cannot. Or maybe you can know, and it is definitely very crisp, clean, and subtly tart. Um, juicy hope notes to boot. Aye, pure sunshine trapped in a can. Well, <laughs> Scotland has been in the, 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 the best the best five days of well that I can remember. Aye, it has been. And that was even after saying May, because May in lockdown was great as well. But, aye, aye, it was good. But uh, that, I mean, it was scorchy. Aye. I mean, we, we were. We were booked into a hot tub and whatever else, and it was, I don't know, uh, how the other half love Bilko, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it was a staycation, it was a staycation. Aye. The, the big word at the moment, staycation. Well, I'd done my usual, I'd went, went via SAS stores on Monday morning, mm-hmm. so I went down to Paul Shows, went down to SAS stores, down to see Sadif. So I gave him 70 quid worth of Hellas business <laughs> <laughs> and a few overtones for her as well because um, he's still the overtone as well. So mm-hmm. um, I managed to... I'm, I've done all right. I've done all right. I had a wee top up at Fine Nails mm-hmm. the week, which was good, which is just up the road from them. was Drum Signy. Brilliant. Up, on the road to Inverary. So that was really good. So we'll be reviewing them aye. in the future. Cheers for my good day bag. Oh, aye. No worries. Yeah. No worries. You know I'm good to you. You know I'm good to you. <laughs> I got a polo shirt. You get four. I don't know who's winning here. I really don't know who's winning. Uh, but aye. It's a good bit of the beer. I mean, that's, that's lovely. Uh, definitely aye, session. It's a session. Mm-hmm. Session all day long, isn't it? I don't think that's too fruity. I don't think... I don't think that it's really... It's crisp, clean, and... It's tart. Aye. And, and I think that sums it up. It's crisp, clean and tart. It's not sour. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can drink. I could certainly drink. But we're only sharing one right now. Yeah, so, yeah. So and I say I can as well. So we've got to, we've got to put that in perspective. But it's nice. It's a nice it's a nice start to the evening. It certainly is, man. It's cleaned the planet after the wee couple of sharpeners we've had as well after yeah, work. Yeah, right? we've got to be doing it. It's a Friday after It's a Friday. It's a Friday and I'm on holiday, so... <laughs> I'm on holiday as well, it's a weekend. Uh, yes! yes. Um, yeah. Aye, mate, session for me, uh, 100%. Mm. And it's not, as you say, it's it's not a lot of the other ones as well as we've been doing. I know it's a mixture of sours and vis, but it doesn't have that kind of um, sweetness 
sometimes you wouldn't want to maybe so, uh, session a big sweet beer or a sweet sour, so I could definitely session that. Uh, buy it again, 100% buy that again. Uh, score wise, scores. I'm going to come up with some decimal points tonight if that's oh, all right. Just, just to keep it. It wouldn't be, be you if it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go in with a solid and. Uh, you know, I'm going to go, I'm actually going to give me a seven, a seven out of ten. It's a, it's a strong, strong start, yeah, strong start. For me, having just getting to the bottom, of it, I'm not really sure if I would session that, but I really don't know how much I would session that. Building advice anyway. Um, but again, I definitely not avoid it, um, but I'm not that enamoured with it. It's really nice. It is really nice. I'm not that enamoured with it, but I'm. Morris came down the glass, I'm thinking to myself, mm. aye, alright. Alright. It's alright. It's alright. That's where I'm beginning. Am I, hear it? am I hearing things here? Yeah, you're not hearing things. I am. I am. I know I'm usually a high scorer, I know I usually like everything I do. I, I, it's not a bad beer. I'm, I'm not criticising them. It's mm-hmm. just no. It's no what I think about Leonard Wisers. I've had better about Leonard Wisers. Okay. So. That's all I'm saying about it, and I'm giving it a six. Six out of ten, no Six worries. out of ten for that, for me. So it's a very slow, slow, slow burn. It is a slow burn, it is a slow burn, and we're only having half a can. So again, I mean, in the half can that I've had, it's, it's sort of dipped mm-hmm. through to it. Started off lively as, and sort of disappearing quite. They are kind of, it's not, it's not get the, the kind of oomph of a, a full blown sour. And it's obviously get maybe that's obviously. And I think that's the whole idea. Aye, aye. It's, it's, but but it's, I, I think there should be more zest in it, or a wee bit something more. I, quite, I, I, I think it's all right. I think it's, I think it's better than all right. I, I, I think it's it's not. Ah, it's just entirely up to you. You're, you're scoring. You give it a seven. I've given it a six. And I've been in holiday and I've been drinking every oh, day man. for a week. I've been looking forward to this all week, mate. Honestly. I have as well, honestly. Uh, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. Under <laughs> sign, I know I have. Under him signing a state. I was drinking cocktails. You know, remember that whole hour? Oh, I'm really ready to that. Ah, yeah, yes. Uh, was that, that mojitos? Uh, mojitos. Um, uh, what else I was having? Any was, Tia Maria? There was Tia Maria in one thing. Whoa. Am I, whoa, whoa. Hello. You've changed. I have changed. Uh, there was Tia Maria <laughs> and... Espresso martinis that were made. Oh, love an espresso martini. Well, so we had a few espresso oh, martinis. Joe so was the Joe was the convinced that she was good at them. I thought they were absolutely lovely. Oh, amazing! So was it the coffee? Can I coffee? Yeah, Tia so Maria. She was, aye. But she also brought cold coffee uh-huh. as well as Tia Maria. Uh-huh. I wasn't doing half measures, Joe. But I had to half the car was booze. <laughs> <laughs> we had Havana rum, Malibu. Uh, <laughs> Malibu, what's that? Let's you, get on here. Oh, it's, 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 I'm telling you, it's, I'm getting, getting, in t- get, get in touch with the cocktail side. Mate, I don't know what I don't know what to say here, man. Uh, I don't know what to say. Anything. I don't want to be unpolitically correct here, but, but listen, I told you, Tia Maria is a good drink. We the coffee. Um, I do love a coffee. I do love a coffee. So, uh, so you're in the Malibu as well? Was it Mal- Malibu and what was it Malibu and what? No, that was just. A, a, Added in, added in, added in. That was that was like a mixer and probably a mixer. Yeah. So that's that's the sort of cocktails. Are we you making cocktails in the in the in the digs? Or are you getting them in? In the digs. Aye, the brilliant. Dicks. Thankfully, we had uh, one of my pals, Neil Parson, who works up there. Uh huh. He runs his own company as well. Perfect parties, just for a wee plug for Neil's company. Hi Neil. Perfect parties in Glasgow. So if anybody's in the Glasgow area looking for a party in our yep. house, Neil does really well. Um, but he's a he's an expert cocktail mate, and he made he made he came round with his partner and uh, had a wee night with his uh-huh. and he, he he brought round loads of his own sort of liqueurs and whatever else. Brilliant. He he made us a cocktail, which was quite divine. Yeah, I'll show you the photographs of me after that ah, cocktail. Yeah, that's fine. Later right? on. Yeah, that's good, man. I might even <laughs> link them in, mate. <laughs> no, no, because I've got a big ethos of responsible drinking. Yes. And this, this is anything but responsible drinking. So we're all we're all allowed to be blowing in our holidays, Bunko. Absolutely. Yeah, so I. Yeah, Listen, I'm right. glad you have a good time. It's good to be back, but it's good to be doing the podcast as well, of isn't course, it? Of course. So slow burn. Cheers, mate. All right, cheers and. So we're on to our second beer of the night and we thought we'd mix it up with the strengths tonight. Yep. 
So we're going with another one for Polly's, which is the Heavy Moon. It's a mosaic double under a pale ale. Uh, now, I'm just going to read the description that we've got from it. Uh, I think it goes without saying that uh, Polly's are huge fans of mosaic. And they've taken single hot beers all the way from kick-ass sessionable small IPAs to pails to DDH pails to IPAs. But there's one territory they've never explored with this varietal, the Dipper. Oh, hello, you Dipper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so in homage to probably our favourite hop in terms of overall reusability, they've gone big in that one, like really big. Heavy Moon is an all-out mosaic hop bomb, loaded with a 19 gram per litre dry hop charge. All the big hitting notes are present, mango, blueberry, stone fruits and earthy pine in both aroma and flavour, all wrapped up and fermented out with kiwiak for maximum flavour intensity. Eh, that sounds like a bit good. It does, it's, 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 well, certainly. You might have hit the ABV on this, mate. <laughs> Aye, the ABV on this is 8.2%. So listen, ain't that that is Ted's beard gonna love? We are gonna love it, ain't you, man? We're gonna love it. I can tell it. that before it's even pulled. We're gonna love it like, responsibly. I can, I, can tell, I can tell that it looks amazing. It does look good. I can tell good. that it's been wrote up amazing. It does. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. And cheers. Well, does it taste amazing? Taste cheers, mate. Ah, it's just a hot bomb, man. It's like mosaic all the way through. Like, oh, oh, it's an explosion, isn't it? Right. Oh. That's detonating uh, my, my th oh, oh, that's lovely. Mm. A bit of pine there. Mm -hmm. A bit of pine at the end. Like, but certainly all the fruits that they're mentioning, like the mango, blueberry, mm -hmm. stone fruit. I think you actually find out about stone fruit. Yeah, I don't know what a stone fruit is. Bruce was telling me about stone fruit all day and talking about the colours. Bru listen, Bru like Bruce, right, Bruce, right, Bruce, Bruce guy, right? Mm -hmm. What a character he looks like, man. Obviously, mm -hmm. we've uh, seen him on Instagram and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, love to meet this guy, Bruce. At he's some over point. December. He's over. Is he? He's, uh, he's bringing two Vikings on him. Brilliant. Uh, a couple of Danes are coming over. Brilliant. Um, so, well, hoping it, hoping. Obviously, obviously, with the, yeah. obviously with the Aye. COVID and stuff. Yeah. Uh, everything goes to plan. But I, uh, we've got a wee, we've got a wee uh, couple of days in Glasgow, a couple of days in Edinburgh. And then hopefully we're going to get a wee bus trip up to Road uh, trip? Fine Eels. Aye, Fine Eels are heading there yeah. again after, after my experience during yeah. the weekend. We're heading up there. So I think... Well, we need to get him on a show if he can, if it oh, finds I, I that. We've got to get him on a show. I, I, I think if we, if we move it forward the way we're planning on as well, yeah. we'll be a more interactive yeah. doing it from... Because obviously it's a pain in the ass me to turn up here. Every time I need to come and do a recording, it's going to be with you. I know, Don't man. It's right. a nightmare, I'll man. Me, I, I know, man. Like, hey, I need I to tidy the, tidy the office, oh, man. You know what I mean? Well, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, I don't want the stress of that on your, on your conscience. Mate, the thing is, I keep saying Fiona, it's just you that's coming up, so we don't really need to tidy it, but uh, well, one, of the, one of these things. Mate, this is a... That is lovely. Oh. That is lovely. There's no hint of the ABV in it at all. Um, and I wouldn't even... To be honest, I just taste like... And I, I mean, they've, they've hit it on the nail on the head with mm -hmm. the actual... If I want you to just... Session it, that, you know, <laughs> session it, then I, so I would be game, I, I, I know I would be game for trying like two or three of them, uh -huh. which is always dangerous, especially when, especially with the amount of alcohol content yes. in it. Yes, 8.2% is a, a big car, that's a, a big car, but a, it does, it, you're getting no hint of that at all, all you're getting a hint of is, is like the machine caught bomb as they're stating, and then all the taste notes. Yeah, it's all coming through, the mango, blueberry. Ah, it is. You know, don't, don't have a clue what a stone fruit is. I think that's just something that they're made up. Mm. You ever heard of a stone fruit? I've never heard of a stone fruit, man, no. Never seen it's... a stone fruit in any year. We normally get a, a stone in a fruit. I know that, sometimes. I'll be where it is. Just Aye, so maybe it's... Sort of with peaches and shit. It could be, possibly. I think mean, what's my language here. Aye, mate, that's fine. It's 18 plus, obviously. <laughs> oh, well, exactly. Everything responsible <laughs> and all that. But at the end of the day, mate, it's... That is... I'm glad we've done this because normally we would save the dipper to the end. Yeah. Uh, but and I, think sometimes we, I, I, I think sometimes we just bite my push by the end of it. Oh, uh, yeah. And sometimes it just becomes our favourite beer. It does. It does. But at least when we're in second one, yeah. it's probably going to be our favourite beer. But let, <laughs> let, let's be honest, mate. When we go out for a wee jar, we normally oh, throw a wee dipper. Oh, we throw a wee dipper in the early doors. I think you've got to just to, to start right. the night going. Yeah. Because if you're going to be talking mad this morning, man, you need a bit of an excuse for it. Heavy Moon as well. It's a geek's name. It's a nice it's a can as well. It's nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm uh, enjoying it. Okay, we'll do obviously link to the images. Uh, we'll probably pinch the images online from uh, you know people like a wee beer shop etc. 
Um, but aye, it's a nice can as well. And the, see, 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 one thing I'll note, I've noticed about Polly's, their social media, and it just looks stunning, doesn't it? It just looks just like a, the way it looks at the glass. Just, aye, aye, the, the colours. colours. Aye. I mean, it's, it, what, it's, it's just, aye. But, exactly. I mean, look at movies in the jacuzzi. A goofy, <laughs> a, a goofy IPA, you know what I mean? Like, that's just soft shirt. Soft shirt, aye. Hinty boys were once already there. Little partnerist. Slow repetitions. I like that, slow repetitions. Mm-hmm. Like. We've got a slow summer repetition. generator. We've got one of them in the, in the fridge Lovely. for later. Oh, good stuff. And we've got an endless festoon as well. Mm. Is that a loop, Lewis Cap? No, it's a Lupo Capasco. Thought it was a Lewis Capaldi. Oh. Um, but the way it looks as well, just in the glass as well, for me, it just looks like mango. It really does, man. It tastes like mango. That's, again, That's I, lovely. this is my, coming my catchphrase, mate. It does not, I cannot taste the, the alcohol in that. The ABV in that, 8.2%. That's what people want to know. People want to know, is it something that appals? I mean, you, you don't want to be drinking, you don't want to take the risk of mm-hmm. buying a can like that you're going to be sitting going, oh, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So, I think they're giving good, good information in a different way. Aye. It's like, but obviously not beer snobs by any stretch. <laughs> Quite obviously, mate. So, so we're, 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 we're trying things that are new to us as much as they're new to who's watching as well. Uh, and those that watch, some of them won't, won't be that new yet. Well, it's not just for uh, beer snobs, is it? Let's be honest. I, I, I don't know I beer mean, snobs. I know, I know people who are quite particular about the drink. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, if there's nothing else there, they'll be drinking the same stuff ah, as we're drinking. Yeah, absolutely. They like a party and they like to, mm-hmm. they like to enjoy themselves as much as anybody else. And ah, absolutely. Well, that's what it's for, but. Absolutely. Hey, well, we're here as well, Brendan. I do need to mention something. Hey. We mm-hmm. get sent a wee gift in the post uh, from my friend uh, Adam. Down in uh, Norfolk, he's like the David Dickinson of uh, Norfolk. This guy, without the tan, I might add. So he sent us a nice wee whiskey. It's an old school. I think it. I think it. It says whiskey vat sixty nine, which is a brand of whiskey, and it does look like an optic. But what I think it is, I think that's actually sat on the barrel. Ah, okay. So right. it's, Good uh, weight on it. Good. So the, the angel share. Is this what we're talking about? Well, this, the angel share was the angel share. Angel share might have. Well, oh. it looks like it. Uh, <laughs> looks like it. No, and Adam, you know, uh, he certainly sent me the angel share. He's maybe <laughs> kept the rest, but uh, no, Adam, if you're watching, mate, thanks very much for that. It's much appreciated. Uh, but it's a good weight to that, isn't it? Uh, I could maybe make a wee lamp out that or something like that. Uh, well, he was talking about making a lamp out it, then he said he would send it to me. So I was thinking I might make a wee lamp out it. But it's it's a very nice bit of kit, man. Back to this uh, heavy moon. We score it. Let's score it, mate. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll go first, right? If you don't mind, right? Because I know I like your descriptions of the dipper, uh-huh. right? Because I'm going to say right away, I'm not going to session that, mate, right? right? Even the fact that I probably would have a go at session that, uh-huh. but for me, eight point two percent, just the alarm bells would be ringing. Yep. I'd maybe have. I'd maybe have a couple of cans in it. I'd maybe push myself with a couple of cans, yeah, but I'm not going to session right. it, obviously, with that. Yep. Um, buy again, absolutely. It's a uh, banging, absolutely banging the way it tastes. Uh, love the fact that the ABV's masked with all the lovely flavours in it. Uh, 100% buy it again. Um, it's better than the first beer for me, um, so my score's going to be higher. Uh, I'm going to give it, and again, I feel as if I've been taking the uh, Brenny pills, man, these days with my, my generosity here. Um, I'm going to give it, I'm actually going to give that a 7.75 Woofed. out of 10, <laughs> which as you know, is quite high for me, mate. That is very high for you. Very very high high for you. So what about yourself? Uh, heavy Moon starts off brilliant. I think it's really good. It really is a nice beer. Again, I'm only half in a wee. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I'd even attempt to session it. Because mm-hmm. one, I think it's a sharing beer. Um, yeah. I would love to think I could session something like that, but okay, you like it, then, you know, right. why would you want to? It's just, it's, it's a really sample. And to be honest, it's losing a wee bit of it, I think. Do think so? Oh. I think it's actually gaining, mate. Do you? Aye, ah, yeah, I do like the, sometimes the dippers, it does kind of dip. I thought that was, the pun. Well, it may be the way the can's getting pulled or something, and not again. But I think that can, what's mm-hmm. the date, what's the, what's the, what's the date, what's the date on it? The main date on that is the. That's June. A, oh, do you know something? That's the. That's the that third of June. 
It runs until the 3rd of December. 3rd of June? 3rd of June? Ah, it's fresh, isn't it? It's still. Isn't it fresh? Yeah. It goes to December. I don't so know. So what do you mean? I'm saying that. It's just... I mean, what, 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 August. 14th of August. 14th of August, do you know what I mean? So it's uh, maybe, it's maybe just a post that I can have, I've got. Aye, aye. It's, aye, it's, it's a wee bit. Again, um, would I buy it again? I'd buy it again, no problem. Uh, buy it again. And again, the thing is, is most places that sell the range of these beers mm-hmm. are going to have it anyway so but they're also going to be updating their range of beers oh, aye, aye, I've so, noticed that so it's sometimes I'm like would I buy it again and I'm thinking to myself I probably wouldn't even that oh, I know, is I know. A, this is a night for firsts well it's a night for but it's, it's being honest it's being honest about it because I do like it it's dipped a wee bit I'm thinking to myself well it's like it's like pretty much every other dipper going at the moment, other than I don't, I, I don't know. I'm Maybe it's my experience with the can I'm getting. I mean, you might have to spice No, no, better, mate. It's I mean? better not. But the, uh, mate, the other thing as well, mate. I've been working. I've been working all week, mate. I've maybe psychologically. Been, uh, You've I've been, been on trying, the piss all week. Try, I have been trying a lot of beers <laughs> this week. Not yeah. all fuss, and I know what my favourites are. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, you know, I'm. I'm Heavy moon, but no too heavy heart. I'm going to score it <laughs> a six out of ten again. Wow, man. Wow. And I think I already stated, I wouldn't buy it again and I wouldn't insist it. Jeez, old man. Well, mate, listen, it's all about opinions. And, uh, it might uh, be. And listen, yep. this, is, this is what happens when you, you, you go on holiday and you experience having stress for your living. Aye. You're a bit more confident about I, just. I can. I, 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 and this is not to say that any of my previous things weren't they true. They were true mm-hmm, at the time. Mm-hmm. But thinking about it, what did that cost? Did you, give oh, that a call. I mean, that's, it was dear, man. It was about £4.50 or five quid or something like that. So, a fiver for a can of beer. I know, that's a but, lot, isn't it? That is. That is a lot. I'm, I'm looking for a lot more. Do you, want me to get a, do you want me to get a couple of Tia Marias in that for you next no, week? No, not at all. Right, all right, all right. But anyway, all the cocktails and holiday. <laughs> right, okay. They like a Sandy's. They like a Sandy's new son. They will ease me. But for me, anyway, sorry. Uh, but, it's all about opinion, isn't it? Okay, so the third beer of the night is uh, a DDH Pale Ale, and it's called Endless Festoon. It's five point five percent. Um, I'm looking forward to this one actually, Bilko. Um I think given the write up on the on the, the website, and I've not, I, I don't th- I don't think I've been harsh in any way so far. I think I think I've just been honest um, that some of the stuff is is a bit samey. Uh huh. We're reviewing. Uh huh. Um, so I'm looking forward to this because I think um, again it's got stone fruits, tangerine, and piney raisin notes. So well, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to it. But uh, as I said uh, previously, after a week's holiday of trying loads and loads and loads Cheers, mate. of stuff that I'd already tried and know that I like, mm-hmm. that uh, I'm actually beginning to go, do you know what? There's a lot of stuff in there that's quite shady. Aye, and that's aye. where I'm coming from with the last, uh, last couple of reviews. That I finish that off. Cheers, my man. Go, my man. She just smells like a normal one to me, just the same as a, a lot of them do. But that's why. I, I do you like I mean, it? I I do I do, but again, it just okay. tastes the same as like hundreds of the other ones, doesn't it? It's. We've not tried that many pale ales on this. Uh-huh. So I don't think we're really in a, a position to comment. Mm-hmm. I think I, I think it actually nails it quite well in that it's not overly fruited, it's not overly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it is it's, it's, I think because we've done it on the back of a big dipper. Aye. Do you know? So I think I think your palate's probably still with a big dipper and then this is going so I think all things can concerned um, I don't want to be too harsh on it, mm-hmm. but I, I, I actually quite like that. I quite like that as a. Well, I've got obviously get my preconceived 
because mm. uh, I've not really liked some of the pale ales in yep. the past, but the pale ales we've had have been very well, light. And on second, on, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying that on second taste. It's, uh, I think, a wee glass of water might have no way to miss in between the two of them because it's almost like the deeper light. But, <laughs> but I, I almost uh, no, I like, I like it. it's not a deeper it's, light. It's, 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 it's almost the same experience of taste in the mouth, but a wee bit tins done. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know if I still what I'm going to deep in my what was it? What was it deep? A heavy moon, mm-hmm. the heavy moon in the mouth. I'm just looking here at the, this thing, the juice bomb they were describing on their website. Uh, this the famous juice bomb vibe that they've became so famous for. I'm not getting that juice bomb on that. Probably because it's a pale ale, I suppose, right? But it's not a. Uh, well, it's not giving me. It, it's a juice aye, bomb, but so. it's not. It's not. I'm not getting that compared to the. Um, the dipper, the dipper was the mango. Well, you love the dipper. You uh, did, I did you, love the dipper. You, you, ah, you I really like enjoyed it. I get that. I get that. I get that. Um, the piney, I can definitely get the piney. Tight, a ah, very, very hint of tangerine. A hint, hint of that. Hey, again, we need, we need to check out these stone fruits. That we're probably getting the next time we get into one of these places, we'll probably get told we've got a stone oh, fruit. Oh, as I, I are. Get him done, yeah. man. How dare you not know what a stone, stone fruit, fruit is? Well, <laughs> uh, I was lucky to get a banana in my lunch box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, oh, mate, hi, hi, mate, I'm sorry, uh, sorry. Big oh, bet on, big oh, bet on. Oh. Just realised, uh, get is a big is bet. Is this Ronnie? Is this Ronnie here at 147 then? Oh, Ronnie's back to 13 each. Oh, oh he was 13 11 done. Sorry, mm. that's good. Big bet on Ronnie O'Sullivan in the snooker. Um, in the three, is that all? Uh, it got his first to 17 in the semis. Right. Uh, there's other semi final there, as you know. Obviously, I wasn't quite prepared for you coming up the night. The best frame of snooker I've ever seen in my entire life. Really? It went to a final frame. Kyron Wilson sneaked it, flipped the green. Was that the boy that was greeting when I came in? Aye, it was oh, him, man. Aye, aye. It meant, it meant a lot to him. And I felt sorry for my girl, Scottish boy, Craig Glasgow. Um, not the flashiest player in the world, but a very, very great match player. Um, but I but I've got uh, put it this way I, I, I had Kyron as a saver so if Ronnie can pull that out the back if Ronnie wins yep. I'll be, a, aye, I'll aye, be aye, a, aye, aye, aye. I might even be able to afford a wee, a wee wee cup in there was it I'll try it in jokes <laughs> <laughs> mate and set like, I'm, I'm going to see compared to the other pales ale, pale, pale ales we've had it's nicer but there's not a lot of difference between that and, and maybe it's because we've no mixed it up the night and maybe because the selection that we got, they're all quite similar. I, think, I, think, I, I think the selection we did end up buying mm. has, has been a, an IPA fest, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. sort of pale ale mm-hmm. IPA fest. And, and that's just. And it's unfortunate because that was everything they had. I bought every single polish they had on the on the site. So, um, so you can only buy what's available. Exa- exactly. And you can only review what's available appropriately. So. Exactly. And. and hey, that is, if you're, that is, if you're more, more lighting it, it's no... That's what it is, I, I don't mind it, it's just when you're now, because uh, of that kick, and my face has probably turned a wee bit red after that dipper. Mm. Um, the, the, I don't think a glass of water would have been the, the worst idea. I don't we think might, it would have been we, actually, we, aye, we should maybe try that. actually start cleansing our palate. Aye, we we'll should maybe do. Aye. <laughs> drink responsibly, folks, drink responsibly. Absolutely, drink responsibly. Drink responsibly, folks, all times. So we're going to go in with the scores on this? I'm happy with that. Right, I'll go, I'll go first again tonight. We'll just okay, keep it yeah, tonight if that's all right. Uh, I'm not going to lie, right? Would I buy that again for the money it costs? I'm not going to buy that again, mate. I'm sorry. I know yeah. uh, it might be a bit harsh there. Uh, for me, it's not not doing it for me. Um, would I session it? I probably could session it. Well, it's 5.5%. Could I session it? Probably yes. Would I want to session it? The answer is going to be no. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to session that either. And again, that's just my palate. Um, you're not a fan of the pale ales, eh? You know, I'm, you know I'm not a fan of the pale ale. It's but going I, to take... I think coming on the back of the heavy moon, that Aye, it's not. It's I, think, not... I think that's probably... Aye, my palate hasn't been cleansed enough to appreciate. If Aye, I were to do it the other but, way about... But, 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 you can only go with it. I mean, you Aye. can only go with it. You can only go with it. Exactly. The, in terms of a score... Eh... Uh, you know, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be... I'm not going to... I mean, you, 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 you just go from one extreme to another, don't you, every I week? Do, I, I do. Uh, I'm not going to go do. quite... quite. In fact... I'm going to give it a 6.25. So it is what it is with that. Yep. Uh, I'm not uh, slagging it off in any manner of the means. Yep. 
a different night. It's a perfectly refreshing beer. Let's not kid ourselves on. Mm-hmm. And people are going to like that. But me tonight, mm-hmm. uh, having tried a few, um, and I did actually quite like the slow burn. It's it's definitely my worst beer of the night. So that's the only reason my score is so low. So, so sorry about that. If uh, I'm unlikely uh, uh, event that you're actually watching this, uh, Paulie's Brewery. Uh, but uh, sorry, mate. Over to yourself. No, I, I, I get what you're coming for. I, I think. Uh, I think. As I said, I've been away a week, and I, I bought loads of beer that I like to go away with, <laughs> and a load of them were overtone, a load of them were my Helles from Germany, like the Augustine, and, and I've got a certain palate taste, where I prefer a pills, and, a, and I don't mind paying over the odds for stuff that's getting imported, and stuff that's costing a lot of money to bring <laughs> over <laughs> from Germany. Do you want to pay over the odds for some, but like, like you? Some, like, I think, I think, I think there's alternatives available that don't cost as much, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and taste is tasty mm-hmm. in a local environment. Mm-hmm. And I, I probably think this now, like, retrospectively, when yeah. back in our last three podcasts, mm-hmm. I think, I think, I think the same about. A lot of them, despite mm-hmm. the fact that I love everything, and I do love everything. I really not buy a can of it. If somebody pulls out that can at a party and says, Do you want a half of that can? I'm like, oh, brilliant. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Because it's, it's, it's somebody with other tastes that, mm-hmm. that are equal to my own. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not mm-hmm. feeling it. Well, I, Actually, to be honest with you, all three so far. I know, it's a shame, uh, isn't it? Aye. Well, it's not a shame, it's just... But it's, it's real, mate. Like, I, I, it's different, it's different. It's just where we are. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're, only, we're only podcast four now. And to be honest, if we didn't, if we didn't track them with the videos, mm-hmm. and thank thank goodness I'd be a weekly beer. Aye, ah, yeah, absolutely. Week, you know, because mm-hmm. to be honest, that's me just stick my, stick my neck on the line and saying, that's my beer of the week. Yeah. Sharing my can with my pal. Yeah. Out of that selection I've just had, mm-hmm. that's my favourite. Mm-hmm. And I think I've probably been over generous when I want my scores because a lot of these beers are very, very shamey. Mm-hmm. Not, and I'm not meaning that in a bad way because I really enjoy them. I do really enjoy them. But I also go on my hands and say, well, this is. Do you know? It every, tastes the same. Every brewer's just reincarnating the same thing mm-hmm. with a different twist. Mm hmm. And everybody goes, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, and that's, that's exactly what I've been doing. I don't, wait, wait, mate, for us, man, we're, we're probably not going to be there. And there might be people out there watching this and think, oh, what's going on here, man? But we're not, we're, a lot of people might think, oh, they're just liking that because, you know, they get paid for it or they get it, get it free or whatever, man. But we are being completely honest here, completely aren't we? Completely honest. 100% paying, we're real, man. The, we're Absolutely. We're paying for the beer we review and this is podcast four. Yeah. And... I'm getting to the stage where I'm actually like, do you know what? The last four brewers, that, that Paul is included, they're all producing a variation of the same thing mm-hmm. in a slightly different way mm-hmm. and putting it out there for, for monies that's... that's don't get me wrong. I don't know anything about their brewing costs. I don't mm-hmm. know about mm-hmm. their canning costs. I'm not trying to knock the industry. I do enjoy it. But I've been away for five days mm-hmm. and I probably... Probably qualify this. That I've been enjoying myself too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. And I'm coming back and going. Do you know what? This is. It's nice. But is it that nice? Is it that nice? Is it that nice? Is it there? four quid a can there or thereabouts? Nice. Or is it? Is it? Are you going to pick someone up for maybe a pound fifty, two two pound a bottle? Exactly. I can. Exactly. Yeah. That's where I'm yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm going with this. Yeah. You know. And then that. I would say endless for endless for Stoon. It's just joining the middle of the road, Paulie's scoring that I've done already, which is a six out of ten. I'd written it down there before you even said it. <laughs> mate. Uh, you said you're uh, not saying it. it. I could say it. Yeah. But I don't know who would want to say it in that place. <laughs> and would I buy again? No. So endless for Stoon. Uh-uh. Uh, So we're on to beer number four tonight. Uh, before we begin, Ronnie's getting beat 15 13, man. Oofed. Not really happy about that. But anyway, I'm not going to let that cloud our judgment. 
This one is another one for Polly's, and it's an IPA. Hey, <laughs> yes. it's, uh, it's called Summer Generator. They sh- maybe maybe they've just put that into the brew the last couple of weeks and they've generated the summer. 6.2% range augment. A Mosaic and Simcoe is a partnership made in heaven, much like Dre and Snoop, Lennon McCartney, Bill Cohen Brenny. They just go together <laughs> like a hand in a glove. Um, uh, all the rest on the website, but basically it's got incredible pineapple, mango and passion fruit notes to the fore. Bit of a tropical lilt there, and that's a beer that drinks just like lilt. For grown-ups, there you go. Can't have you read that there, mate. Right. Uh, it's all tropical tea. <laughs> with just a tiny little bit of Columbus in the boil, they've reeled it all back in with just a tickling of bitterness to round this awesome IP off of that St. George Polly's bite. Now, this sounds as if it's got a wee bit more juice bomb to it. There you go, big man. Here's home. Oh, here's hoping indeed. Now... I do like the packaging on this with the palm trees, etc. The the blue sky and it's quite apt. Um, one thing I've noticed, I will just say when we're pouring this, obviously the day last week had a bigger can, much bigger can. Uh, these ones I've noticed that. Oh, it's like four forty mils. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Uh, that must be. Uh, I think that's a four forty as opposed to a five hundred. Um, but I just did notice that. So, oh, definitely. That's, that's, that's. It smells well. Mosaic and Simcoe. I'm enjoying that. Aye, that's got a bit I'm more. Enjoying aye, I'm that, enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. That's the half of that. Aye. Look at the freshness date as well. Jeez, a shame with the freshness date, but that. Let's have a look at that them. one. See, that one's July. 30th of July. So it's a bit like. Oh, aye, aye, aye. aye. There might be a bit of that, isn't it? The transportation, etc. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. North Wales, isn't it? Aye, it's for North Wales. Aye. In fact, so that one is. Do you think that makes quite a big difference to the to the taste? I'm the ideal, but I mean, I know the fresher you get, the better it is. Aye. So, I mean, if you're sitting, sitting on the shelves and getting transported up to Glasgow and stuff, some of the beer might not be as fresh as what you would be getting if you're buying it at source. Aye, in North Wales. Aye, aye. That's a, that, that is, that is, that is lovely. I'm, I'm actually enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. that that's you sure? That, Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling all right now. Right, good. Right. good. That's, that's definitely gone down as, as my favourite so far. Mm-hmm. Just on one taste. Mm-hmm. It comes in again at four pound fifty. See, if you're spending four pound fifty, I can, mate. You, you want, want that? that. Yeah. You want that? Aye, hundred percent. That is good. That's uh, it has a little out for grown ups in it, man. It's like, uh, see, is this a psychological thing? You know what we're well, like. You where just we read it, so therefore you believe aye, it. Ah, I said it. And then I don't. I don't. I, 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 I take that on board. I do take that on board, and then, well, a lot of the marketing and whatever else. But that is a. Is a a totally tropical taste. Mosaic, <laughs> yeah, that's man, isn't it, man? It's, it's, Mosaic and Simcoe is, we've had these before, in there, and it's mm-hmm. a fantastic mix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that is the the pineapple, the mango, the passion fruit. Um, maybe maybe we just don't like stone fruit. Could be a point. Neat find that we stone ah, fruit. Yeah, I would do, man. I. We'll probably go in it. It's like, well, pineapple doesn't have a stone. Mangoes get a stone. Passion fruits get wee tiny stones. So it's obviously something there, aye, aye. I mean, Tell aye. you, when you're, when you're putting up in a scheme, man, you, you don't know the difference between a banana and an orange gun. <laughs> I know, man. The, bit, the person with the biggest stones in the scheme was Stevie McCall, wasn't it? Who did I do? Who did I do? Yeah, I do. Um, but uh, I tell you, it's a. Uh... <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely. It is. You said, no, no. I'm Aye, back to four a minute. I, I'm getting back. I, I, I'm I, had a wee, I had a wee drink of water in the, the kitchen there when I was washing the glasses. Well, and you gave me a wee glass of water. Aye. So I, I think we're maybe, if we're going IPA tastic, we'll be having it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's probably what we need to do. Because everything just ends up tasting very samey. Aye. But that does not taste samey. Oh, I really like this one, man. Ah. This is a. This is a. Uh, that uh, is good. I do like this one. Oh, and it's the what I like about this one is it's got the boom. It's got the the overall body. It's it's not a weak one. Six point two percent. Um, and if you uh, 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 it's probably worth the money. Do you know what I mean? Whereas the other ones, with the exception of the dipper, which I like, and I didn't mind the first one we did tonight either. But the pale ale, uh, the pale ale wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, I, I, I've been very low in my scoring and I, and I think it comes down to 
a consistent week that I've had, which mm. has been a very entertaining week for me on holiday and knowing what I like. And have you been? Have you been on holiday this week, mate? Sorry, I've got the room in my phone. The <laughs> pictures I've got me. Make sure, make sure they don't be shared. Make sure they don't be shared. Uh, but I, I think, I, I think a lot of it is down to uh, your moment in time and mm-hmm. how you're feeling, mm-hmm. and you're you're going to express that in, every time um, in any way. And the whole first few that we've done has been completely oh I think it's brilliant mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. not how I'm really feeling about it tonight but I don't necessarily think it's due to polish I think it's more due to me yeah yeah as a consumer yeah and how I'm looking at the last three podcasts we've done mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm beginning to now see differences in what what I think's value mm-hmm. and that's where I'm coming from it mm-hmm. and that's a great beer that's, that's a, a great lovely beer. beer that is a lovely beer and and it, 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 the slow burn wasn't happy with it for a bit of lunar wise I've tasted a bit of bit of lunar wises um, the heavy moon again I've tasted better of pale ales do you know uh, was that a deeper I quite liked that was I quite liked the deeper, deeper. Yeah, yeah, I liked the deeper um, and then the endless festoon again I thought I just tasted better the summer generator is really nice. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. It's a really nice IPA. It's really strong. It's not overly hopped. Could I session it? Aye. Do you so, know? I, I mean, it's six point two percent. I could session it. Look, I could have three or four, and make sure that I enjoy them. Um, would I buy it again based on what I've drank so far? Definitely. And I'm enjoying it a lot more than any of the other ones tonight. But again. Be the week I go for. Mm-hmm. Be the week I go for, as you always know. And I have scored high the last few weeks. But I think because I've been away and I've been enjoying myself so much and knowing what I actually like, mm-hmm. taste-wise, etc., then it's kind of hard to come in here and go, do you know what? Do you know what? Everything's brilliant. Because mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Everything's good. And I don't think we've said anything isn't it? Yeah, good. yeah. But I think what I'm now beginning to realise is I need to be more on the point with what do I want and what mm-hmm. do I want my period of week to be and that's beginning to become a contender well just do a few you know, right. we'll do a few <laughs> more right? but uh, mate you've made a great point there mate you know it's like uh, I want to be, I want I want people that listen to us or people look at us on social media and I want to be respect us and I want them to say listen Beer, uh, uh, to get the beer of the week it has to be a good uh, beer uh, uh, we're not just going to give it any willy nilly uh, and uh, I think that's why maybe I, I've been harsher with my scoring than yourself uh, um, but that, that that's a reason previously you're talking about I, previ- well, pre- tonight. I pre- oh, well tonight tonight no, but I've been harsh with the, with the endless fist in, but at the end of the day I do like my sour I do yeah, like my did, yeah, did, I, I like my did. sour uh, I like the fact that we've got a wee done there early doors yep. which maybe did mask the scoring a wee bit but this for me, is yes. uh, the beer of the night. I'm just going to come in before you get mm-hmm. your score, Magma. I'm just going to say, uh, I've been session it again, not because I, I just wouldn't session a 6.2% beer. Everybody knows uh, I wouldn't do that um, these days. Uh, <laughs> my, would I buy it again? Yes, 100% buy it again. And uh, it is my beer of the night so far. Yep. Right, uh, now, because I've given the Heavyman 7.75, yep. I'm going to have to give it a higher score than that. Yep. So it might not reflect your score, because yep. I know you've been harsh, so I'm going to have to give it an 8 out of 10 for that reason, because uh, it's uh, definitely a beer of the week so far. So, based on that, and what you've said, and based on my previous scores, I totally agree with you. Um, I think, taste-wise, it's been the best beer of the night. Mm-hmm. Feels fresh. Tastes mm-hmm. fresh, mm-hmm. all the tastes are there, uh, and score wise, well, I'll go sesh. Yes, I would. I'd attempt it. <laughs> um, so that's a yes for me, which is always a good sign. Mm-hmm. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Mm-hmm. So if I had a couple in any of the establishments that we go to, the service sort of mm-hmm. beer, kosher, etc. Uh, would I, if it was on offer and I tried it I would definitely buy it again mm-hmm. the next night so it's a buy again and would I say I would 
And I'm going to actually give this an eight or a ten. So it's a wee bit of jump in the schools for the sixes. Uh, there is, there is. And that's because I actually feel it. I mm-hmm. feel it. And that's all I did. Maybe, maybe it has to do with you feel, uh, no, you feel, oh, you've cleansed the palate, like, you feel the tang, mate, you feel the fruitiness, you feel the tropical aspect of that, you feel the It feels strength. like a fresh beer. It's a well-rounded, right. balanced... And it feels uh, like a fresh yeah. beer yeah. that you've paid good money for that you're enjoying. Aye, aye. And that's, that's ultimately it, because mm-hmm. people are spending a lot of money on these products, aye. and look, I, that does they feel samey, that feels mm-hmm. quite fresh, mm-hmm. different. Aye, okay... Everything's going to have a, an undercurrent of being a similar beer, but it does have that freshness about it that I enjoy. So. Agreed, mate. Agreed. So, uh, summer generate, uh, certainly generated some summer in the podcast this evening. Indeed. <laughs> okay, so uh, our fifth beer of the evening is the Circadian Rhythm. It's a double IPA, um, so let's see where it goes. It's a eight percent volume, which is uh, pretty strong by any stretch. <laughs> and they're basically saying it's a beer that they've been trying to perfect, perfect so that they can get back into normal, normal sleeping rhythms, which because they've been brewing it, working six a.m. to eight p.m. Now I'm all for workers. That's taking a biscuit. That's right, that's a 14 hour shift. Aye, oh, yeah, that's man. That's, that's heavy going, man. I know, man. Day, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, boys, like, no beer's worth 14 hour shifts. <laughs> so I hope this is, I hope this is worth the 14 hour shift. Cheers, my man. Because uh, I'm telling you, that's no, that's no enlightenment my trade union policy. <laughs> Laughing I'm laughing because it's true, man. Aye. It's not like my aye, policy aye, either. Aye. You can't be doing 14 hour shifts. Cheers, mate. You get the tropical fruit dances that are seen and the smell, never mind the palate, so I'm looking forward to this. Ah, the Citra and Simcoe, you can all get mosaic. It's a punch bowl as opposed to a juice bowl. I'm enjoying that. Enjoying that, uh, I like that. You know, what I'm trying to do there is, you know, how you know you see the programs and that with the whiskey and the wine and all that, and they're like that. Like your pal, you know? Aye, yeah, I just like to just to feel the, the wee bun. I'm gonna, I I'm do gonna, it. I'm gonna wash my hands after you're, you're wee. Kill, that's why we've got the sanitizer. That's why we've got the sanitizers here. Obviously, we've got the antibacterial surface wipes. <laughs> um, we'll get them. We've got the hand cleanser, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, the, we'll get that. You can we'll tell this is all cute up in this vocal. I actually really, really like that. Um, it's good to know that we were going down a certain road, road earlier on the night. Right. And, it, and, and Polly's yeah, have kind of pulled it back a wee bit. Um, but as you said, I've, st- I've, I've still got three of them left as well because we just didn't want it. We could, we could be tasting IPAs all night, couldn't we? Um, but no, I really like Actually, it as well. the selection that was available on the web shop, right? Aye, absolutely. Sure. And it was a great selection. Was it? But what I would say about the beer, and we bought these, uh, the wee beer shop, uh, what I will say is Neil um, as well, top guy, really had a good chat with him actually. Uh, very, he uh, knows his music. Very well, yep. as well. The brilliant chap with him. Um, the at the time maybe the more popular ones at Polly's. I just maybe missed the boat on them. So there was other ones available. It wasn't just all IPAs. Right. And I think there was one we wanted to try that had a kind of Highland type name. Uh, that we just literally missed the boat on that one. So it's certainly not a slight on a wee beer shop. It was just that's what it was on what the wee beer shop. Do you remember? Um, if you if you look at if you have a wee look at the emails, mate. Uh, or your WhatsApp, you might see if you have a look at your WhatsApp between us. Emails and WhatsApp, Insta what? Insta what? I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. We'll find it, but I'm scared. Phone to calls look. and text messages. Mm-hmm. Or no, oh, what? Ronnie, sorry, Ronnie's just went. Ronnie's fifteen fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, centipede, if you're watching this, mate, thank you for uh, keeping uh, me in the loop there. Uh, I, if you, uh, it was a, uh, it wasn't it, it was like a mountain. Anyway. We did obviously email Neil, and it just happened to be these were the only ones right, okay. available on the site. So it's definitely not a slight on 
a wee beer shop, uh, mm-hmm. the fact that it's all been IPA. But what I will say is, if we're going to put the Bill Kilmbrenny uh, podcast name to some of these, it's going to have to be a good one when we're all tasting similar, similar types of styles. I think we're picking the creme of the creme, aren't we? Yeah. Out of the, the selection yeah, that we got. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. What's that? Oh, mate, Simcoe. I mean, it's becoming rapidly one of my favourite kind of hops. Hops, huh? Aye, aye. Uh, the Santa, the Santa Sanko sort of. Yeah, I'm learning, uh, mate. Yeah. yeah, do you like that? I do like that, Bunko. I do like that. Aye, I mate. do like that. Right, good man. Aye, yeah. Simcoe, the Citra. Uh, you can know Mosaic. We've learned that about tonight, although I was a wee bit put off when I said, oh, the Mosaic was in the, the Dipper earlier on as well. See that. Uh, one thing that I'm not quite sure of, obviously, that the dip earlier on, the paper, no, it wasn't the paper moon, that was track. Harvey moon. It was the one with the moon. Aye, Harvey heavy moon, moon, heavy moon. Heavy moon. That was obviously 8.2. This one's only 8, when I say only 8, but the point two, but it just tastes exactly, you know, you can't, eat, yet again, you can't taste the alcohol, the ABV in that. And I think that's a totally different taste. Aye, no, I see the to the eight point two one. Aye, it's uh, citric, more citric. Uh, it's more what's the word? Simcoish. 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 Aye, aye, aye. It's no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Listen, um, I started off slowly tonight, and I was my low scores. Probably reflect a, a, a sort of similar, similar genre of mm-hmm. beers that we've been tasting. That actually hits the spot. Mm-hmm. Does exactly what you're looking for. Again, look at the freshness of the tin, which is there could be a lot in that. I mean, that's July twenty eighth July. That aye, one. so these are. So you're aye, talking, aye. You're talking, It might well be the freshness of cans that we're getting. And that's no slight on any supplier or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but it shows you how much we, when you do get a fresh beer. It tastes nicer. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's a lot of David. Maybe it is. Uh, maybe yeah, that's I... a lot of David. And uh, I wouldn't want MD to think that well, we're not doing MD or not appreciating our efforts. But the first three for me were not of the standard that I was thinking mm-hmm. they were going to be. Because I've had. I've had Lolly Polly and I've had a few others that have been recommended to me. Mm-hmm. All lovely, all lovely. Um, but that's not good. Ah, that's aye, aye, it's it's good. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be. It's going to. I, I really need to have a look at my final score on the last one because I know I, I enjoyed the summer generator. Um, well, so, the, the thing is, man, it's like the name as well, circadian rhythm. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, it's almost like a wee te- what was I don't know what circadian means. Me and the missus actually been talking about words like this recently. Yeah. And um, I was we were walking up Baxter up at the Braze the other day, and uh, there was a cyclist coming up towards, and I actually called him a bicyclist, as opposed to a cyclist. Mm-hmm. And did it used to be called a bicyclist? Because obviously not, it's not bicycles. A, not any term I've ever known. You cycle. You're a cyclist. Aye, but if you've a bicyclist. A bicyclist. Wait, a, a, What's the difference between a bicyclist and a cyclist? Uh, a tandem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, circadian rhythm, right? So what are you trying to say about the circadian rhythm? I don't know. It's just the net. Are you, are you getting back in there? Aye, exactly. Do you know what I mean? What a tune that was. Aye, aye, aye. Back to the hard call. Right, what's a tune? 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 You know I mean? too much away there, but we have to come for too much away, man. Do you love your hardcore? <laughs> <laughs> What's the score? Hardcore. But, uh, aye, but the uh, aye, circadian rhythm is a really nice name as well. I like that name. Um, the, I thought uh, it was uh, always uh, see, see with my boy in the street in the can. Mm-hmm. I thought it was circadian rhythm. Aye, exactly. So aye, 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 aye. There's a few good brewers up there, aren't there? I would imagine there is, aren't there? Yeah. But uh, what well, I was you just want to touch on the old, uh, you know me with my touching on stuff, right? Yeah. So six a.m. till eight p.m. I mean, what's all that about? What you want to do is you want to get a job for someone like Overton Bruin because I believe they've been hiring this oh, week, haven't they? Salesperson. Aye, salesperson. I seen that. I retweeted it on one of our podcasts. Aye, we did. Aye. So uh, I added that into the, the the review we done at Overton. Aye. Great job. Great job for someone who there. Staff discount. <laughs> not much staff <laughs> anyway lads but no, good luck with that uh, one thing we have done is we've both uh, 
tweeted it to all the relevant parties, haven't, right, haven't we? Right, um, obviously. Um, do we know what man in the game who's got the same taste as us? Are we well qualified? Absolutely, and uh, so that'd be a great job. So I could good luck with that. That would be a brilliant job. For somebody in their twenties. Aye, brilliant that's job. I mean, it's no, that's not. Maybe, or maybe somebody's going oh, to Oh, it's not for like us and our pure pension age, you know what I mean? Oh, well, mate, you, mate, you I, could do it yourself. I'm, 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 I would happily do it, Joe. Yeah. But not for the wages involved. To be honest with you. I'm telling you. I, I get better for talking shit and tighten. Mate, I, but listen, we're having a wee laugh here, obviously. A job's a job these days. So we're having a wee laugh with it and all that. But all joking aside, we have pop forwarded it on to some people we know oh, and, uh, you can do a lot worse than look at them I, 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 I actually thought it would be quite do you imagine me Mate, there was, drive a motor every day. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> Mate, there was oh, guys man. I was telling were thinking about wrapping in their 50 grand a year jobs to go and bloody work at Overtone yeah. they loved the product that much yeah, well, uh, I get that I get that and that's, I, I have to admit if it was product based at own aye. just for a staff discount I, would, but, well, I wouldn't have enough money to buy it <laughs> <laughs> It's really, it's really it's 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 anyway, it's yeah, let's go. Cool sorry, 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 I did I mention that off camera. You did. You did off camera. Did, you aye, aye. So we were talking earlier on about the beer of the week, etc. And I know that you have went out your way. You know you did Bill uh, Brenny's bonus brew. Right. You know you bought a couple of the big. Ah, uh, you've done right. Zocos. Uh, I went out my way to buy another. Uh, Whitman got it done at Sass. Uh, Sadiq. Sass. Aye, Sadiq. Good lads. Right. Good lads. And uh, Sadiq. Sorry, sorry. Sadiq. Sorry, Sadiq. Sadiq. Good lad, and um, he was. Uh, I, I must admit, I sat in on Tuesday night after I'd finished my work, and I just had a nice can of that, and I, I, I savoured it over the course of about forty-five minutes to an hour, you know. And it was, it's still, still, fun. Oh, it was still my beer of the week. Out that one's. Uh, I, I have since obviously had quite a few Callista pills uh, because they are very good. Very um, good. Yep. Yeah, anyway, sorry, so, so, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, Polly's. <laughs> sorry, boys, Listen, that's only because that beer's so good. Aye, it is, man, because we're just we're off on a wee tangent. Off on a wee tangent. I'm not going to tell any stories about North Wales. Oh, I'm right, North Wales. I'm going to go near my caravans down there again in Go for it, go for it, go for it. Fuck, Dan. No, and I've had a couple of crackers, actually. We did for a boys' weekend one time. We're drinking Marsden's Pills, eh, Marsden's Pedigree, of all things. A pure full <laughs> session, a pure bad session. Boys' week, let's get in. And one of my pals ends up. Going to the caravan, can mm-hmm. him? The caravans at Talica are all like fucking dumpy. Proper porches and that. Mm-hmm. And then some man. <laughs> porches. Ah, I know what you mean, they've got a bit. Ah, you can sit so, outside so, it. So, so a mate of mine who will remain nameless ends up falling asleep mm-hmm. in the porch mm-hmm. of a, a caravan that was the yours. Mm-hmm. And some man, mentalist, go take that as a, a house building and set up him. So the next morning, we've all turned up, wondering where he is, and he's black and blue, had a heavy dune, and he's like... <laughs> what? Up, aye, we turned up, chatting the door, well, let's get on here. You know what I mean? Ah, she'd changed for those... Six, 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 aye, 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 aye. So aye, that's my... That's my let's move on enough. from that story, I, eh? I don't, think, I don't <laughs> think it was Eddie for all fools, I think it was something that's other people from other places. That's one of the things, isn't it? But when they go to these places, aye. aye. I don't know if that's got a lot to say with the Marsdens or the, I don't know, the, the beers that were on. Or us. Or us. Or my mate falling asleep in people's porches. Mate, obviously that's a good 20 years ago, isn't it? How was it last weekend? It's <laughs> over, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just back. <laughs> just back my whole Is that weekend no. you've been there? <laughs> <laughs> I was, though. I was, yeah. no, it was years ago. It was decades ago. It was decades ago, obviously. Right, the right. has changed. But... Let's get back to that, yes. right? Right. So, so uh, session again, cause it's eight percent. Now, listen, I will say, right? See, like 10, 15 years ago, no, I would have attempted to say that. You know, back in the day when I, I thought I was, it wasn't a fanny when I was pushed. Uh, but now, uh, nowadays, it'll be like, uh, sorry about my language there, but you know where I'm coming ah. from. That. Um, so, I, I wouldn't session that, but would I buy that again? Hundred percent, so, yes. Hundred percent, yes. It score wise. I really actually did like the summer generator tonight, as yes, you know. Yes. And I'm conscious of the fact that 
it's up there. Yes. It is up there. It's better than the heavy moon dipper for me. Probably just the reduction in the ABV and also the more tropical, the, well, the Citra and the Simcoe and that is making it slightly better. You know, it's going to... Oh, I'm tempted to give it a beer of the night, but it's up for me in the summer. Do you, um, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10 as well. So I've got a wee decision to make in a wee while. So is that you, you struggling for a beer of the week? I'm struggling for a beer of the week, but I'll have a wee think about it. All right. Um, for me, that is 100% the beer of the week. Um, I've just really enjoyed that. I want a glass to the top. I've mm-hmm. absolutely top, top to bottom. Held its taste. Really good. Really strong beer, but you wouldn't know it's strong. I um, think it's got everything I want in that style of beer. Mm-hmm. Um, and, do you know, like, Genuinely, a taste sensation all the way down. Session? Uh, I did a go. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I did too. By um, game, yeah. And remember, we're sharing these folks. So, I absolutely. Uh, we're, 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 we're having a wee laugh here with us. We're having a wee laugh. Yeah. Buy again, hundred percent. And for beer of the week, I'm giving it an eight point two five per. Oh, it's an eight point two five. Eight point two five. Yes, yes. Oh. You see what's uh, happening here, man. It's like we're, 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 there's a juxtaposition, and we 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 are changing our our ways. I'm I'm becoming uh, more generous. Uh, are you uh, becoming uh, more fractionalised? I used to give halves, whereas yeah, uh, it's I, like it's a fine beer that, and it is it's it's a fine magic, beer. It's magic, it's really nice. It's really so nice. circadian rhythm, a few of them, man. Uh, and rhythm. Annihilating rhythm. <laughs> So we've got a wee bonus tonight, mate. Oh, um, what I thought we would do is uh, I bought myself early in lockdown a nice bottle of rum. Mm-hmm. Uh, we run a Kappa Cisterna 23 Salerno. Um, it's a Guatemalan rum. Uh, on the website there, it's wonderfully integrated with honeyed butterscotch, spiced oak, raisin fruit, showcasing the complexity of the Cisterna Salerno ageing process. Now this wasn't cheap, mate. You're talking 50 quid-ish. I did get a lot of that as well, but anyway, oh, right, right, right. Right. Oh, appearance okay. is light mahogany with the tones of long barrel aging and the rim and long slow legs clinging to the glass. Eh? I was turned on to this eh, rum by eh, one of our fellow YouTubers, right. eh, a guy called Rock and Roller, and his website's The Gambling Community. Mm-hmm. Eh, check that out, folks. And eh, the guy that runs the, the Gambling Community is uh, certainly Mr. UK Hacks. Eh. Have you ever heard of Mr. UK Hacks? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> I can't even work on Instagram, I can't even work on Twitter, I can't even work on Facebook. I, I, I can just about get my head on Facebook now. <laughs> and you're asking me if I know UK hacks? He's no. actually he's a fantastic guy. And he gave I us a good I, advice. I no, no, I just, no, I mean, you've never heard them. No. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, come mate, on. Mate, that's fine, that's fine. It's, listen, you're not by the first person that's... You're, in fact, you're the only person that's never heard them. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, a wee in-joke there. But no, honestly, if you're watching this, Hacks, thanks a lot for the camera advice, because it was uh, very well uh, very well received, and it was very accurate as well. So here's the Ron Zacapa, mate. Now, what's your initial thoughts? Oh, by the way, as well, uh, Mark Conn of Speakeasy Bar Snacks, he was the man that, that he described this as a sessionable rum at fucking forty pound a bottle, right? So cheers, mate. I don't. Right, mate. Damn let's it. see. Let's see what it tastes like. See what your thoughts are. Now that is smooth. What's your thoughts? Is that rum? Is that a sessionable rum? <laughs> <laughs> Would I, you session it? <laughs> I've just came back for a week and there was Zaydi by the way. <laughs> Where I was drinking my heat was every day. And I wasn't drinking uh, Zapa. Ronza Kappa. Ronza. Ronza. Kappa. Ronza. Just call it Ronza. Ronza. Ronza Kappa. Yeah. Ronza Kappa. It's just, call, just call it Ronza. That's Ronza. the name. I wasn't drinking one. What Roller does is when he gets a massive win, he drinks one of these live on his stream. Mm. He doesn't get big wins, to be fair, man, but he is a top, top, uh, he's a top, top lad, actually, his Roller. As I've said to you, I'm into rum cocktails. Aye. I'm getting a bit. I've never had heartburn before. Are you getting heartburn for that? 
<laughs> I'm a hard and drinker, man, because I'm not getting any heart burn, burn for that at all, mate. I, I, I've just... I'm Would you, do you want me to get a wee Old Navy rum for you? No, no, no. But it's, uh, it's uh, I'd like that. I'd like that mixed with mint and uh, lime. Right. Please, I get a bit of soda. All right, hang on a second, man. I'll just get my uh, butler uh, to uh, rustle uh, this up. Well, we uh, Baxter, the butler there in the background. Uh, you know what I mean, mate? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, but mate, listen. Thanks for trying that. What I will say is, uh, if you're looking for a premium rum uh, as a gift for somebody, that is the go-to rum for me. Um, it is very, it's, very smooth I mean, in the palate. No, there's no two ways about it. It's an absolute. I mean, we're drinking it straight. Aye, aye, we are drinking it straight. It's, 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 I mean, the thing is, though, see, when. I, I like rum. Listen, this is a. But this I'm, is no, I'm no mad on rum and coke, but I'm, I like rum on cocktails. Aye, aye, mojitos and all that. Aye, aye, aye. aye. I just, I just find, I just find the concept of drinking spirits straight. A bit aye. Better. Well, that's it's inter- that, that's one of the reasons I wanted you to try it, mate. Because a lot of people, obviously, obviously, you know, I like my malts as well. Um, and a lot of people, if you've get a malt, they're like, they don't want you to put anything in it. They're like, oh, you're spoiling the taste and all that. Um, you know, you get a lot of people like that. Um, whereas if they're having a Bells or a White Mackay, they'll load it with water. See, I get that. I, get, I mean, I'm getting it n- now more than mm-hmm. I'm becoming accustomed to it. First taste. Bye. I'm like, ah, where's the soda? Where's the? <laughs> where's the ice? Where's the soda? Oh, I'm sipper. glad I never. I'm, gl- nah, I'm glad I never. I'm glad I never. Like it. it's, it's, for man, how is your rum? It's all right, isn't it? I know your rum's pretty limited, mate. No but worries. I've been drinking Havana. Can I ask you? Yeah. Would you session it? <laughs> <laughs> no. I wouldn't session it either. <laughs> uh, would you buy it again? Buy it again. Uh, uh, marks out of 10 for the rum. For the first rum we've had on the show. Yeah, well, it's the first rum, so I need to mark it all. <laughs> I've got any idea how to mark it. Do you want me to mark it? I'll mark it. Will you mark it. This is a 9 out of 10 rum. But only because if you're paying that kind of money for rum or whiskey or anything like that, that has to be quality. You don't want to pay, you know, 30, 40, 50 pound a bottle and then you turn it and it tastes yeah, like... Well, it's all about your palate, I know. Right, well, well, so, so, it may be a quality product. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to get a market at 10? Uh, I'm not getting a 9. <laughs> I know. I'll get a 8.75. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as if you're taking a pure piss. <laughs> no, you're... you're <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> love it. Love it. Right. Anyway, so back to our beers, though. Oh, we got another beer? No, no. Oh, well, do you want me to go and grab another beer? No, no. Go and grab no, another no, beer no, if you no. want. Actually, you want to do one impromptu? Impromptu? Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, <laughs> mate. Honestly. We do one impromptu. Uh, as mate, we'll finish. Mate, back to the beers, though. Beer of the week. Beer of the week for me right, was the right. very last one, which was... I'm not even wrote it down. Circadian Rhythm. That's the one. Have Annihilating you got, Rhythm. Have you got the can? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And purely for me, uh, I've actually given, no, you, you get eight. Uh, eight point, purely for argument's sake, I'm actually going to give the beer of the week to, I'm not going to give it to Circadian River, no, mate. Are you? Oh, I'm actually, uh, yeah, I think that, no, I do I feel that I actually took the best of the dipper earlier on. Yep. And I felt it took the best of the summer generator and put it in a can. So I'm going to give the, the circadian rhythm. So we're not falling out, we're not doing that. Nah, we're not falling out. No, we're not going to run out, up, bitch, man. So uh, uh, if you're watching this, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, what, what, what's coming up for us? Fine Eels. Fine Eels. We're going for the... Uh, I was up in Inverary. Did, did mm-hmm. I tell you I was in Inverary? Ah, I knew you were in all of them, eh? Aye. So it was very close to Inverary, and uh, that's, it, that, that's on walk fine. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> So the kind of movie I've got called Fine Eels. Yep. He's gone about since 2001, I think. Yep. So yeah, it's not that fun, yeah. Yep. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that how I get? I cut a beer off you? Is that how it acts? 